from the westernunion.com VIP lounge. It's 106 came Yale, your girl Shay Diddy up in this thing, and I don't think I really need to introduce you, do I? Want to introduce yourself one time? I'm, I love McCullough. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought with you? Key. Key, how you doing, bro? We're doing good, man. We, you know, <laughs> we, so we're good. <laughs> you on tour right now? Yeah, we got the second to last show tonight in San Francisco, Loud of the Loud Tour. You know it's sold out, right? Yeah, it's I just heard. Bananas. I hope so. I hope it's the livest one yet. How has tour life been for you? It's been good. We've been traveling and enjoying the fruits and labors of the land. What's the what's your favorite thing about being on tour? Like, what's your favorite city you've been to so far? San Francisco. Tree tree. <laughs> What'd you say? The tree tree. The tree tree. So that's why you were like, San Francisco got to be one of the last. Yeah, we just came from Denver, LA, and then San Francisco go, yeah. for tree tree. For the tree tree. <laughs> for the tree tree. So San Francisco got to have the loudest of the loud. So the end of the tour is basically a weed tour. Yeah. How was Denver? Didn't they just legalize marijuana out there for recreational? Yeah, it was yeah, fun. They, we they was sell it at Walmart. We was in the park Shut smoking. The <laughs> <laughs> they, s- they sell it at Walmart. They got patches now. What's, weed patches. What's that? They you put it's it like on your skin like a birth control patch. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Did y'all try it? No, nah, I don't even know birth control. I feel like the two of y'all on tour, the dynamics between y'all must be insane. Like, it must be a reality show in itself. Just sitting here with it's y'all. It's just bro. fat people chemistry. <laughs> what you mean, fat people? We just, just hang fat out, people play know video how to like fat, like, Eat hey, food. you hungry? You ready to smoke? You hungry? You ready, you ready to, smoke? to go to sleep? I see you tomorrow. I'm about up. to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you just know the same schedule and routine. What y'all? How y'all even link up? Like, how long have y'all known each other? For about like a year and some change. Yeah. Eight years? No, a year. A year. Yeah, like, eight years. I probably won't be friends with her no more. Last, oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> like last year. Last year. We knew about yeah. each other for like two years. Okay. We some rap teenagers. Uh huh. Yeah. And y'all are hooked up from Atlanta or? Yeah, Atlanta. yeah. The first time I met him, I ain't like him. Why? That was before a year ago. <laughs> yeah, that was Because like, he was acting bougie. Yeah. <laughs> How was you acting bougie? <laughs> that was two years ago. Nah, I was he just, ain't bougie. I was just he was with Mike Will in the studio. Yeah. And I was, oh, he, they was like, this McConan. I was like, oh, yeah, I fuck with this shit. He was like. Was he high as shit or something? Nah, it was nah, just like. Was light skin. Nah, I was just like, oh, okay, I appreciate that. But he was like, oh, shit, we got to do music together. We got to do music <laughs> together. And everybody everybody that I was getting introduced to would say that same thing to me. Right. And I'm just like, all oh, right, yeah, word. He was giving another, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I, I hear you. I wasn't rocking with him after that. So I hear then, you. What happened? How'd y'all become so cool? Because y'all feel like y'all got like a brotherly dynamic between y'all. We got kicked out of the studios, I guess. I don't know. I just wasn't in the. Where, where did we lean back up at? At Father House in the in no, the bar. Didn't back with Mike Will. Yeah, with well, Mike Will and stuff, and then um, but out there, Mike Will was going out of town and shit, so I wasn't seeing Mike. So I was out there hanging out with Father and all that, and then I was seeing him over there. Mm-hmm. So we'd just be hanging out and making music at the same time, but it's just like I don't know, just in the same little hangout area. And then making right music, now. and then it's like, let's shoot a video now. Okay. And then, yeah. Shit, yeah, Rich got us here. We got this friendship to yeah. this level. The Rich song, Rich, 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 Rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that Rich, is, Rich. do it. I'm tired of that song. Why are you tired of it? That's like that the fine. street anthem. <laughs> I like my verse. I don't like nobody else. Why don't <laughs> <laughs> Tell nobody else got a verse but me. That's my How did Rich come together? Uh, Father. It was no, at Father it, House. It was Father. Father, I guess, already had the song, but he kept begging me to get on the song. Like Father week. just had a hook. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this shit. Like, you hard. need to get on that wrist. It's going to be the biggest shit of the year. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was begging him to do it. Was you? Yeah. You saw in the video, he ain't even rapping the video. He was just. Because it was just like, just so one take. Chill. Yeah, that was fun. That was that's when uh, that was last year. San Francisco gonna go up to that song tonight. Oh, I, I thought y'all knew that's like the street anthem right now. Yeah, they gonna go down. Did y'all song. know when y'all cut that and y'all made it and y'all put it out that this was gonna be the shit? Now nah, we seen the reaction so quick. Yeah, really? We did see a quick reaction. I saw like we we put the vid- we put the song out and the video out and then uh, performed it like two nights later and the crowd knew it like crazy. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Instant. That's one of them records that just pick up quick. So yeah, is it yeah. safe to say that you guys are going to be working together on your debut album as well? Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Really? So what's going on with that? We still have a release date or? I'm trying to get it out for October. Before October? Yeah. Who are you trying to work with on it? Um, 
Everybody, really. But I don't know. I I say everybody, but then myself. But then yourself? Yeah. So um, I don't know. I'm just I'm working right now with a lot of people, and I feel like whatever fits, I use it for my album. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just how I do it right now. Really? Yeah, Have you, you had just, a chance to work with Manny? Because I know you said that you like we idolize him as well. Who? Manny Fresh? No, not yet. Not yet. I haven't even met Manny Fresh yet. He was in the department store. Yeah, he was in, in Atlanta on Edgewood where that's he where at the bars. Well, we performed at it, so. Really? Yeah. You just haven't ran across him yet? No, not yet. What about you, bruh? When we gonna get an album? Mixtape? Look at your face. <laughs> Put you on the we spot. Ain't, we ain't doing no media press right now. <laughs> no <laughs> questions? Nah, I'm, uh, I got some stuff working. I got a Gangsta Girls coming out, I think. Really? Yeah. When? I don't know. You don't know? I'm just recording right now. You're just doing, you having fun? Yeah, I don't like being Can you link back up with Mike Will? Yeah. Yeah? We always be talking to Mike. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm Fun to see him again after this tour over. Really? Yeah. Working on some stuff for Kelly Rowland, too. Really? On her album, yeah. You gonna be rapping? or? No, songwriting. Oh, nice. Yeah. I know that you said you wanted to be known for producing and songwriting. Yeah. So, yeah, we doing that. Okay. That's good. Is there anybody else that you want to write for right now? Uh, Yeah. Whoever got a budget and is putting out now. <laughs> I'm trying to write for Justin Bieber. <laughs> for Justin Bieber? Yes, yes. Why? Yeah, he's good. We work. We're not for folder for that. Who? Justin Bieber's dope. We're working on so, the yeah. I heard that you were working with Drake, Rihanna, and other names on your new album. Yeah, I'm Is that trying a, to get with Rihanna. You trying to smash? No, not smash. I'm saying like still um, get. You know what I'm saying? Still get in the studio and lock in. You know what I'm saying? But we just got ideas. You just got ideas. I mean, like I got songs over there that they heard and like you know what I'm saying. They let me hear some stuff, but it was like. I don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you just want to make the time right so the vibe could, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So it's just all about timing, really. It's all about timing. Yeah. You got to get off a tour so you can make that happen. Yeah. I like being on tour, though. But <laughs> I, it's about to end. But I like to, I want to hop back on tour again. You know what you I'm do. saying? Yeah, I want to keep it going. You got to keep your buzz up and be out here entertaining so, the people. When all that stuff happened with your Twitter account getting hacked, did that stress your relationship with Rihanna and Drake and the OVO camp? Because I know a lot of people were trying to say, oh, he's about to get dropped from no. OVO. Everybody's cool. Yeah, it's just hackers. It's just hackers. You know, it's just the internet. I don't know. Like, I'm, they've been celebrities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they've been dealt with all that crazy shit that be happening when you become a celebrity and i just became into this new light you know what right. i'm saying like however long ago but yeah but it's like certain stuff people know is fake and certain people's stuff know is real and it's like behind the scenes they you know everybody knows what's real and then out there it's like it's just i don't know it's fake stuff on the internet no i know so well when I personally saw those tweets coming out, I was like, that don't even sound like him because he's such a chill dude. Yeah. And then I know you be tweeting some wild shit sometimes, but it'd be more so I'd be thinking to myself, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. Right? So I yeah. decided. I would never do no stupid shit like that. Like, Because that's like your boy, right? Yeah, that is the boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the boy. Yeah. Well, I wanted to play a game with you because, like I said, I see your tweets sometimes. And yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I need you to tell me, what was you talking about? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and grab what? <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. It's real detail. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Uh... I like to hit the spot and get my ankle massaged. What's wrong with your ankle? Well, that was when I was at the house back home, like in March, and I was, uh, <laughs> now nah, my dog bone, right? My dog's big ass, like, bone was in the house, and I was dancing to a song, and I, like, jumped on the bone to sprain my ankle. Oh, crap. So, I was, like, hitting the spot and, like, having them massage it and try to, like, you know. <laughs> Just have them. Complain. Yeah, have it get back right. But don't want nobody testing on your sprain. I was listening to like, <laughs> why not? Them Asian ladies know how to fix all body parts. <laughs> have them walk on your That's back. Never pull up on a bitch with some coke, dick. <laughs> 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 that means don't ever be doing too much coke when you can't get hard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then try to pull up on a girl and, you know what I'm saying, expect to smash and be just an embarrassment. Dude, I was like, what the f is coke? <laughs> <laughs> so, has anybody ever had that experience here? Not necessarily off of coke, but where you were just so fing high, you was like, I can't even do drunk? it. Drunk? Yeah. It's been, been drunk and just. 
You've been spending times when you saw intoxicated, which is like. <laughs> just barely there. Yeah. So what do you? But that was actually what was so funny is that was a lot of my tweets, right? Be yeah. conversations or shit I hear from other people talking. Right. And so um, a girl has said that she had said that, and uh, I had just tweeted it out because it was so funny because she was talking about how um, she was mad that they couldn't have sex because the guy was so coked out. What? She was yeah. She was just depressed about it, so she just said that. <laughs> she said that full of all the bitches would go good. <laughs> so I just tweeted it. <laughs> I can't talk to a y'all. you are so special. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's how we be. We try to keep it the same. You know what I'm saying? She nasty for being mad though. <laughs> what? <laughs> do y'all even like girls who do drugs like that? Or you don't care? Um, he said, "Hell no." Nah. Yes, he do. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be cool for like a little. It's all in moment. moderation. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. what you do, as long as you're not abusing it. You know. If what I'm I saying? see you one time in the club, and that's what you do in the club, and then next time I see you do the same thing, then no. No. Yeah, because that's your life. You seem like you might like fat bitches. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to be like that, but he got that personality where he's like, "Come here, girl, nah, the big old bear." I actually hug. don't like fat girls at all. At all? Nope. Yeah, he's actually real mean to fat girls. Why? And it was a Did girl. It was a girl in Colorado, fam. She wasn't even all that fat. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> nah, he just wasn't having it. I don't need that. He just wasn't what? having it. She had all her little skin showing. I, I like talking to fat people and <laughs> being friends with fat people. He fat. He a fat girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But uh, you feel me? I don't like fat girls. I'm like, yeah. we want a side show after the I show. I can take you to the side show afterwards. After party side show. You just show. have to put a hoodie on. That's cool. Okay. I got plenty of hoodies. <laughs> parkas. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you're like the only person I know who wears parkas like that. Is this a parka? Yeah. That's a barber shirt. The one that they throw on when they cut your hair. <laughs> Is it really? No, it's not. Shut up. Where do you get your fashion sense from, though? Like, you just put on whatever you think is cool? Yeah. I just put on whatever, you know what I'm saying? He put on shit to be annoying. <laughs> Why? How is this annoying? Because he'd be like, I know you want to wear some shit like this, so I'm going to wear it. You want to wear this? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I just like to be myself, you know what I'm saying? It makes you I feel just good. like one of a kind type shit. I don't really like to find this, nobody else wearing my same. You look like you're about to get a fade. <laughs> He's so special. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all go. So people wanna follow y'all and see what y'all got popping. Y'all can follow us on Twitter and Snapchat at I Love McConan Five D on Instagram at I Love McConan. And his shit ain't popping, so I don't even follow him. Aww. You can unfollow me at Fat Man Key. How you Everything. a fat man and don't like fat bitches? I'm not a fat man. That's a figure speech. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl Shay Diddy checking in inside of 106 KBL. I love McConan and Kate. Let's do it.